Uh, thank you. Can you hear me? It's good? OK. Um, so I'm Valentina Mancinelli. I'm a software engineer from, from CERN. And in the past two years, I've been uh, working on the Amber Cloud service that I'm going to describe uh, today. I choose a very long title. Um, so I'm going to give you an introduction of what is CERN and what is the WLCG for the ones who are not uh, familiar with it. And then I'm going to describe you what is uh, AmerCloud, uh, how it's, um, what it does, and how it's used by the, uh, uh, by, uh, the experiments to uh, uh, run stress and functional tests on the worldwide LSE computing grid resources. So what is CERN? Um, CERN is a cool place, the coolest we can say, literally, is uh, uh, part of the LHC are cooled down to uh, 2 Kelvin degrees, so that's the coldest temperature um, reached and measured in, uh, in the universe. Uh, so CERN stands for the uh, European Organization for uh, Nuclear Research, and in French it works better, the acronym. And uh, it uh, is composed by 21 um, uh, countries, and uh, uh, Czech Republic is one of them. And uh, it's also, um, uh, CERN is also a laboratory, a physics labo laboratory, uh, just outside uh, Geneva, in the border from, Swiss, uh, from Switzerland and, and France. And uh, its, its mission is to study the fundamental laws of physics. Uh, there are many experiments uh, that, um, uh, that are carried on uh, at CERN, but probably the most famous one are the one connected to the LSC, the Large Hadron Collider. Uh, the Large Hadron Collider is the uh, biggest collider in the world. Um, it has 70, 70, 27 kilometers um, uh, circumference. You can see the outline uh, in the map in the, in the countryside just outside Geneva. Um, this is another picture, another representation. Uh, so the, uh, the LHC is 100, located 100 meters uh, below the ground. And um, inside the LHC, a um, bunch of particles are, um, you are uh, accelerated up to uh, uh, 0 0.9999 some night, uh, times the speed of light till the point when they um, perform um, more than 10,000 rounds around the 27 kilometers uh, per second. Um, I forgot to mention that, um, so the LC is um, used to study the high uh, energy physics. And um, so uh, uh, there are two tracks around the, uh, for the for bunch of particles around the LC, and uh, so that the bunch of particles run in opposite direction. And there are four points uh, where this bunch um, can meet and where they collide. And on these four points is where the, the, uh, the experiments, the four experiments detectors are, are located. Uh, these are the pictures of the four detectors. Uh, the, experiments, the experiments are ALICE, ATLAS, CMS, and LCB. And LCB. Uh, to give uh, uh, an indication of the size, I hope you can see this is a person standing in front of the detector of the of Atlas, which is the biggest uh, of the four detectors. It's bigger than a four stories uh, building and couldn't probably fit in this. Couldn't fit in this <laughs> in this room. Uh, the four experiments have uh, focus on different aspects of uh, of the physics that happen during the collision, but so they're they're different. But um, basically, they're big cameras that take snapshots of uh, what happened during the collision. Uh, they're constructed as layers of sensors, and these sensors uh, measure the different things that, that happened during the collision, like the passage of a particle through the, the sensor, or for example, measure the, uh, the energy of, uh, of the particle. So um, the data processing of the data collected by the LC can be very much simplified like this. Uh, so the first, the um, in, in the LC, the collision happened, and uh, there, um, 
these snapshots are collected by, by the det detector. No lo not all, all um, the events are, um, are collected. Uh, first, uh, th there are um, filters that um, remove the not interesting, um, not interesting uh, events. For example, the one with uh, that happen in low, um, low energy that have been already uh, studied in the past, so they're not interesting. Uh, what um, the, the the filters are both hardware and, and soft and software. Um, what comes out uh, is, for example, something like this. And this is a visual representation of a, of a collision, of the elements of a, of a collision. This is actually very important because what was one of the one um, presented by the experiment CMS to um, prove the uh, measurement of a, of a production of Higgs boson. Um, after this, the data is uh, distributed all around the world so that uh, physicists can, can access it and, and process it. Process it. Um, Mm, processing it means, for example, changing the format, uh, reducing the, the size of, uh, of the data and run a statistical analysis on it and produce plot. And if from the statistical analysis you're lucky and you find something, uh, then uh, you write an article about it. Um, so the data uh, distribution and data um, processing all around the world is uh, uh, performed thanks to the WLCG, the Worldwide Comp uh, LHC Computing Grid. Um, it's, um, it's composed, the WLCG is composed by uh, more than 170 uh, data centers spread all around the world in 42 countries. The only, um, the only uh, continent where there is not a data center is Antarctica. And uh, so it's a tier, it has a tier structure and the tier zero is CERN that um, uh, um, Acquire the data uh, from the LHC uh, stories for long, um, long storage, um, long term storage, and distributed all over uh, all over the world. The all the data center all around the world um, provide uh, resources on the numbers of uh, 300 petabytes of disk, 200 petabytes of tape, uh, 300,000 cores. And, but all these resources come from very, a very heterogeneous um, um, environment. So there are high throughput, high performance um, 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 uh, let's say um, um, opportunistic resources, uh, cloud resources and um, the, the um, and also use different kind of middleware, different kind of storage storage type, and the objective of the WLCG is to uh, provide uh, a transparent access to the to the physicists all around the world to access and process the data without caring about all the underlying uh, differences and complexity. Um, there is a community of more than 10,000 uh, users of physicists that run uh, their analysis in producing around 2, 000, 2, uh, 2 millions of, uh, of uh, jobs every day. Um, so as I said, the, the physicists are, um, are transparent over the complexity and the heterogeneity of, uh, of the system, but what they care is that their, their data analysis <laughs> is fast and uh, is performant and, um, and it works. And, but with this complex system, it's, uh, you can understand that it's hard to monitor the performances, um, um, uh, make changes, and, and, uh, and evaluate uh, the, 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 uh, the performances after, after the changes. And, um, and it was with this, uh, this in mind that uh, Amerkal was, was created. Uh, to give a tool to site administrator, system administrator, uh, a way to uh, run tests and uh, uh, and um, when provisioning, for example, new new data new data centers. Uh, Amerkal is a service that provides the uh, the ability, the functionality of running tests on demand, with a b with the possibility to uh, um, to manage to to generate on on a site. Uh, a, desired, uh, a desired load, so to run also uh, large scale uh, stress tests, but also for constant validation to uh, automatically generate tests and uh, 
for um, um, uh, for yeah, continuous test. Uh, an important point of AmerCloud is that uh, to test the, the site, is, uh, we use the real workload of the experiment. So we use the same, we, to test the site, we, we submit jobs, and these jobs are the same workload that the, the physicists uh, submit to process the, their data. There are others, uh, the WCG use other uh, monitoring tools and testing tools to test um, uh, more, um, uh, basic functionalities of the components, for example, to test the read and write from, from storage. But this, uh, using um, the real workload of the, of the experiments can, uh, can, can test all the workflow of the, um, of the whole stack, uh, from uh, test submission to lend, uh, lending the, uh, the, the job on the working node to accessing the data, so it tests test everything. Um, and also, Mercal pro provide uh, real-time information about the the results of the test, uh, with um, the efficiency uh, of the jobs and the success rate and the performances of the jobs submitted with the tests. Uh, it's used by uh, three experiments at CERN uh, with different use cases, and in average, we uh, we we run we manage around 100 uh, tests per day. We produce uh, a lot of uh, 100,000 jobs per day, which is more or less 2% of the total submit jobs. But if we see the real consumption CPU, it's a, a lot less because uh, usually the, these jobs are, are shorter just uh, see to test the functionalities and, and the performances. Uh, so yeah, so some com concept. Um, so we, uh, we use template uh, to give the opportunity, the possibili um, possibility to, uh, to users to define a class of tests. Uh, comparing with the object oriented, this is exactly the definition of a, of a class for, for the test. And uh, this allow, um, allow the users to define what kind of job they, they want to run so that um, they can run the same, uh, the same the same jobs on every site, so perfectly be sure that uh, what they submitted is the same on every on every site, and perfectly measure the performances of the whole stack on, on different site on different architecture. Uh, the test is let's say the um, the instance of a of a template. Uh, it has a it, it has a start time and end time, and it's the one that AmerCloud runs and derives the the uh, definition the, the configuration from the template. And it uh, submit uh, during its run. It submit jobs. Uh, as I say, the job is the uh, re experiment payload that are submitted to the to the target site and uh, and run uh, on the site. And the job results uh, by jobs results, we don't uh, we don't care about the actual output of of the jobs. That would be the uh, the output of the data processing normally. What we care is about the uh, performance uh, of the jobs so we use, and we gather metrics about the um, um, the execution of these jobs, and that's what we uh, we store and we uh, we use for to, for the test report. Um, so to give a um, very simple uh, view of the architecture, we have um, a web interface uh, that it's. It's built with Django, where um, the user can configure templates and tests and request new tests, um, and also where we provide plots and statistics about the test results. Uh, then there is um, there is the let's say the back end, the AmerCloud test infrastructure, that is the one that takes care of uh, scheduling the uh, the tests, gener generating the jobs from the uh, user configuration and then submitting to the uh, to the uh, to the grid resources. Uh, in the so yeah, the, the blue cloud uh, the blue yeah clouds will be the uh, a site on the on the on the grid and the blocks are the single worker node inside the uh, inside the, the site uh, to submit to the um, to the resources of the. Uh, of the WCG, uh, we, uh, as, as we submit the same 
we use the same workflow of the experiments. We submit through the uh, single ex experiments uh, workload management system. There's Panda for Atlas, Scrub for CMS, and Dirac for HCB. And uh, this workload management system are the ones that uh, take care of uh, scheduling the jobs and submitting them and um, landing them on the, on the actual working node. And to do so, we use a software developed in collaboration with, uh, with CERN that is Ganga that uh, gives a, a common interface for, with the, for the different um, um, clients to use with the, for the uh, experiment-specific workload management system. Uh, so yeah, we use Ganga to submit um, to submit the jobs, and Amercal monitor, monitor these jobs, and um, it takes care of uh, submit, resubmitting and to uh, to uh, uh, create on the on the site the desired load that the user uh, user requested, and gets the from and from the uh, workload management system we get the uh, the metrics of the job results and we store it in the uh, in, in our database, and then we create summaries and, and test report to show to the user. Uh, in particular, here you can see how the user can um, configure a template, can choose if uh, the category, if functional or stress test. The difference is that if it's functional, the user, uh, and if it's active, Amica will take care of resubmitting new tests uh, uh, continuously, so the user once they create the, the template doesn't have to do anything else, and they run till the the template uh, is active. If it's a stress test, the, the user uh, configure uh, the the class of the template, and then will uh, with another uh, show you later uh, will will request new uh, new tests. And yeah, the the user also uh, choose what kind of job they want to to submit, as we said so that they know which one, um, what kind of, uh, of job, what kind um, are, are submitting. And then uh, select the sites to, to target uh, with, with, the, with, the t uh, with this template and how much jobs they want to, how much load they want to generate on, this, uh, on these sites. Um, as I know, the Amercal is aware of the uh, topology of uh, the of the grid, seeing as as the experiments as the as we pull uh, we pull the information from the uh, topology grid information or services of uh, of the experiments. Uh, after this, um, so for stress test, the user can just select which template to use and add start time and end time, and uh, America will schedule and run the the new test. Uh, as I said, we have. Um, pages with report for the test to uh, show how much uh, load is on the on the resources, uh, the evolution for the um, for the success rate, and also um, I'd say more important the plots over the uh, for the performances. So here, for example, there are how many events per second have been processed, uh, CPU percentage, and these are what comes we use as, as metrics for. Uh, this is Atlas jobs. Uh, we give information not only at test, um, um, at test level, but also a more generic view. Uh, for example, here there is on top uh, the results for one specific site of uh, a specific set of templates that are important for, for the <coughs> experts of um, Oh, for this site, uh, so the results over over the time of this par particular template, and um, a view of the old, uh, yeah, the old grid, um, we using colors to show easily show the sites that are more performant and the ones that are less performant, so that the, for example, sys um, uh, cloud admin or site admin can easily spot the uh, the issues. Um, yeah, so America has been used uh, extensively by the uh, by the experiments uh, over the years, and has become has become uh, an essential um, tool for tests and for automating, and um, and it's it's been very useful for spe uh, especially for the experiments uh, 
computing operation. And it, has, uh, it's, it helps to uh, reduce the effort for the operations and is used for everyday, uh, let's say, everyday um, operation to generate report uh, for site performance monitoring or to, um, uh, as, I, uh, as I show, for um, um, give to provide views for um, constant, uh, constant uh, site um, um, efficiency monitoring. But it's also used for, uh, for taking um, automatic actions. Uh, for example, in, uh, Amercla in uh, Atlas, uh, we, Amercloud use a, a set of very, spe uh, very um, specific uh, craft and defined template to, um, so use this, the results of these templates to um, blacklist or recover the sites. So this is um, the activity uh, of Amercloud blacklisting the, the Atlas sites over, over the various uh, year. It's, uh, I think it's monthly, yes, it's monthly. So this is all the uh, decision that Amercloud took based on the on the test results. And this is very important because before uh, this was the job of uh, operators that had to monitor the jobs on over, over the, the, the old WLCG and uh, check which, which one were failing, the bug, the reason why they were failing. Uh, if, it was, uh, if it was, for example, misconfiguration from, from, the, from the user and then contact, blacklist the site, contact, contact the, um, the site, the site admin, and this is all done uh, automatically now with Amber Cloud and the Amber Cloud results. Um, but it's also used for commissioning new system and technology. For example, uh, it's used for testing the um, changes in the um, in the workflow management system when introducing new components or change, changing the components, so the, that the developers can um, can request for tests. Um, configuring the, the job so that they, they go and test, uh, for example, dev, uh, a dev uh, uh, so, uh, version of the, of the workflow management system and the components. Uh, it's been used also for commissioning the, uh, w for example, during the commission of the Wigner data centers when uh, CERN was extending the, the resources of the uh, CERN data center to compare the performances of the, the Marine data Meran data center and the Wigner data center by um, running tests that, for example, were configured to read uh, uh, from data from one fr in one data center and then data from another data center and compare the, the performances. And it's also been used um, to run skill tests on the um, the workroom the new. Uh, CMS workflow management system, CRUB3, in 2004 and 2014, uh, when getting ready for um, run two for uh, the new run of the LHC, uh, CMS uh, upgraded their uh, workflow management system to CRUB3, and he used Amercloud to generate uh, load on the on the system. So here we weren't targeting sites, but we were targeting the the whole system basic basically. And you see in the picture, the, uh, these are the um, um, simultaneously running job. They managed to, um, to reach the, the goal that they, they, they were targeting of 20,000 jobs. The, the, it's both red, but if you can see the dark red is the, are the jobs submitted by Amercloud and the, uh, or the red, the red, bright red. Is the one uh, are the ones submitted by by the user, and this was uh, was very useful for them because they could uh, generate the the uh, desired load on the system without having to, uh, for example, uh, ask for campaign from the user, ask them to to use the other uh, the the other si the new system and to to scale testing. They could decide when the the, the time period when to do it and how to increase the load. So they had all these, uh, um, they had America to do this for them. Um, so I showed you how America is important and how it's used uh, for, 
for the operation of the and the testing for uh, in the WSCG. And in the past two years, we focused on um, um, strengthening the, the infrastructure. Uh, we moved to the SEN Agile infrastructure. We're very happy user of the SEN Agile infrastructure, which uh, use the CERN um, private cloud powered by OpenStack. Um, uh, use Puppet as um, configuration management for the, for the host and Foreman to uh, map host to host group and sub host group. And we use the, uh, we use environment to separate the production clusters to, to the, from the QA and dev clusters. <coughs> and we use uh, host group and sub host group to, uh, to identify the different kind of machines we have about uh, a little bit more than 20 virtual machine on, uh, on scientific, li scientific li uh, Linux 6. And so yeah, we separate, the, for example, web server, the submission host, and separate the, 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 with different configuration we do in the one used for each experiment. Um, yep. Also, um, Coming from free with the agile infrastructure of CERN, there is also the tools developed by the CERN IT monitoring uh, for mo um, that. So we don't have to develop our own monitoring for for our infrastructure. It comes from free. Comes with the with the machines deployed on the CERN agile infrastructure. Uh, there is host. We have host uh, monitoring um, for all the machines of the of the infrastructure. Um, uh, the, a framework to develop uh, custom sensors on the, on the host uh, in Python, a uh, way to configure notification, um, and also to report service level monitoring, and all this with a nice Kibana uh, interface. Um, so yeah, we, oh, okay. Uh, we, uh, as I say, we try to improve our infrastructure, but of course there's always um, room for improvement. Uh, we're trying to improve our operations, uh, especially the QA process with uh, increasing our, the use of unit tests and contribute. Uh, we're, we're thinking about um, introducing continu continuous integration that we're not using now, um, thinking about um, uh, using Jen Jenkins. Uh, we're also reviewing the Amer Cloud Data Store and uh, um, planning to move the monitoring of the test results uh, to the ER, uh, ELK Delk stack. Uh, but there's not only plans for the infrastructure, there are also planning for uh, extending the uh, functionalities of, uh, of, the, um, of, uh, of Amer Cloud. Uh, as I said, it was till now it was used. Uh, uh, it was already used for commissioning uh, new sites uh, to test the infrastructure of, of, and of the new site and and um, evaluate the, the performances. And um, CERN is now planning uh, to um, how to extend the infrastructure. One of the possible uh, roads is uh, that they're taking into, in, into the consideration is uh, uh, to. Um, to provision um, uh, resources from a uh, commercial cloud provider. And uh, we like to provide, uh, to provide a tool to test uh, these, these resources without, uh, first, first of all, without um, uh, um, exposing the, uh, the experiments directly to issues with infrastructure that can be uh, can be discovered and, and, and fixed with, uh, with this kind of tests. And also to have uh, a tool to uh, compare the performances of, of different providers. To do this, um, so to do this, taking, the, taking a look at the infrastructure again, uh, we want to avoid to go through directly the workload work Cloud management system, and we're thinking about using Condor to submit uh, um, payload directly on on the uh, host of the um, of the resources of the of the provider. And these these jobs submitted can be, for example, 
uh, wrapped experiment, experiment payload that can run but without the workload management system so we can test the results really with what then the experiments will want to run on them but also benchmark too for, um, for per performance uh, evaluation and, and comparison. And oh, that, that was all. It was faster than I thought. Thank you for your attention. Uh, any question? Yes. Um, so is it ever called open source? And if so, is the templating engine generic enough to be able to test like any kind of infrastructure if I create the template? Uh, at the moment, so it's open source, but at the moment, let's say, it was, since it was focused and f on submitting jobs uh, for the workflow manage management system, so jobs that were, uh, for example, analysis jobs for Atlas, for CMS. So it, it was built around this idea. So yeah, that's what, and especially because it was using only Ganga submit uh, um, backend, let's say. So it, was, it's, it would create, uh, create jobs that are uh, job configuration and it's for Ganga. But since we're now trying, uh, we're planning to move with, a, with another, uh, with Condor, with, we're planning on having this totally um, a lot more generic. So a way to have, so from, from the template configuration, generate something that is an executable and that can be sh uh, shipped to a, to a, to a resource. Uh, yes? You mentioned that uh, you are going to introduce open source integration. Uh, Sorry? Uh, you are going to introduce CI. Uh, yes. Does it mean that you are not using CI prior to that? <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> the, that's, that's, that's it. So, we're not that, we don't have a continuous integration. We have the, we use the development cluster. Um, uh, QA cluster, but what we do is uh, uh, develop, then push the, the commit, build, we have a building system, but then we, it's more manual the way we, we put it to QA and then it goes in, in production. So that's, that's a good, uh, one of the wanted improvement that would really improve the, the process. Is that yeah. enough? Okay. There was, uh, yes. Yes. So how are you doing this? Are you just completing a, a class of job and then checking if the results are correct as well? Uh, so uh, we don't really we don't care about the results of the result of the of the output, let's say of the of the job. So it, well, if the we don't, but if the, like a system fails and the result uh, is, is therefore wrong, then it's probably the indicator as well. The thing that we're checking is not really the 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 the, the um, the the output uh, is correct because uh, what we want to see is that the the job could perform um, could correctly perform so we're checking that all the components in the stack were correctly working so that the job could access the the data could run the the software framework for the experiment could write the data, could uh, the, and then the, the data could be, uh, the, the data, the output data are put in the catalog, so all, all this more than, it's pretty much trusted the fact that if you submit a job that asks to do this, then the output should be always the same, but we don't check that. Yeah, of course. I mean, you're submitting. You're actually uh, using the, the CPU, so you're you're paying what what you're doing. But uh, the the phase when we we use it is when the uh, the integration team or the site administration want to be sure that the system, the the resource and the architecture work. So um, it's um, 
maybe you uh, so this wouldn't be used when you can actually run real job. So before you want to be sure that you want to put these resources inside, inside the, the, the grid. Before putting real, for example, before having the real uh, user physicists submit to those resources and then having job failing because there was issue that we could have uh, spotted before with this. So of course it's money, but it's also this is important to have your user happy. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, I will check to be sure which one, and then uh, I can we we can see later. Yes. Usually, yes. But do you want to do some performance regression testing? Some what? Performance regression testing. Like, do you test whether the performance gets lower in time? Why in production? While yes, this research in production? Uh, mm, not really. I mean, we use no, no. We haven't been for the moment. We it wasn't used uh, like this. Uh, so the idea is that Uh, for that is uh, for the continuous checks uh, we use uh, we don't really stress test the, the system we just use small simple sample jobs that uh, check the full uh, the full stack the full workflow and uh, but don't take a lot of CPU and don't stress the the system because it's, it's production doesn't stress the test at the site because in some production we just want to make sure that it if things are working, it keeps working. If things are not working, we spot the problem. Uh, it gets blacklisted, notify the site, and the site can act on it. And then if it goes back on in, like, let's say when blacklisted, they go in test, so the site can perform their intervention. And if America keeps uh, sending tests, sending jobs, and if then the, the jobs are, uh, are successful, then they come back online. Uh, it was just for performance of the uh, of the whole workflow management system with CRUB, like I showed you before with the scale test. This slide. Uh, so here, it was mainly used just to. So in this part, it was used as a submission, a stress test uh, tool. So to have a lot to generate a lot of load, and then um, the. Um, from the crop tree side, they would they were uh, measuring the performance uh, on with their own tools, and was basically uh, America was used to stress test it. In general, when making new changes, what the user does is to request uh, a new. The developer do is, uh, for example, when making changes to a component of uh, of the workflow management system, of Panda, for example, the uh, the data mover or or this kind of components, they um, request, a, they request a test specific to test that, that part, and okay, so but not performance. Uh, I'm out of time. If you want to keep talking about this, we can do it. Okay. Thank you.